was it? So I know it's. Uh, I think when the equaliser went in, you know, you saw their their dugout response, and quite right, we did on the same. Um, and then I looked across at Sol and one or two of the others with their heads down, and but you know I, sh I sh shouted, I pricked up straight away, and, and we went again. You know, like, even at the end, we could have put that ball in the corner from the free kick, but hey ho, we've got to get it in the box and you know have a go. Because we said that the next few games are all winnable games, and uh, you know we worked on the tactics this week. I thought they were spot on, really. We, we knew that Southampton would come out of the blocks and, and we had to nullify their threats to start with and try and get into the second half um, where there's bound to be a few more gaps, you know, because of the the situation, you know, I would imagine looking at the bookies this morning, we were, you know, four to one or something like that, so in a two horse race. So, you know, nobody expected, but they are difficult games when you're playing against teams like us. We found the same against Huddersfield a few weeks ago, everybody expected us to win it. And it's so, so much difficult to just turn a performance on. I haven't either. I mean, all three contribute. I thought all three subs were brilliant today. Yeah. I think Ken's been like that for three weeks. He's been back to himself from last year. His eyes are bright. Victor uh, couldn't have started today, but I asked him to come on, and he's, he's made the goal as well as and Ken. You know, looked really sharp, and Bakuna I thought just fitted in as if been there all bloody life with me. You know, so. Well, I, I don't honestly do. The answer is I don't honestly know. I just feel that we, we have been, I mean, we've won two on the chart, but we should have won three on the chart. We should have beaten Arsenal. 19 shots and two or three open goals we missed. That was the first game after the tragedy. So the three games since the tragedy, we've been superb, really. And and uh, it, was a, it was a fabulous lad, Emiliano, you know, when I met him and we, you know, and I think it's appropriate that we, we come down today with the black armbands on and, and put in a performance like that. You know, it could quite easily have folded, and, but we were determined today. And whilst we're limited, you can't question the character and what they've got under the shirts, my lads, because they've bags of heart, haven't they? But because of Salah, Niazza's almost gone under the radar, but you'd obviously landed him earlier. Again, he's more than played his part. Oh, superb. I thought it was a bit, bit sloppy the first 20 minutes. I had to give him a bit of a... But, uh, you know, it's his first one for a few months, I think. So, uh, but I thought it was a lot better second, you know, gave me that last 20 minutes and the second half he did well and, you know, till he come off. And uh, it was nice to see that, like you said, the substitutes. How, how do you see the relegation picture now? Well, we, I mean, we are, we are going to still be odds on favourites. Um, but, listen, we shouldn't have come up last year. That were, a, you know, a miss, whatever it were, with the bookies. Um, now we should only get 11 points, according to some pundits, uh, you know, that know the game inside out. Um, then we should be, you know, adrift at Christmas, and we're not. So, you know, we keep surprising people. The only people we don't surprise are me and, and the fans. I think the fans, there's not going to be a better set of fans this rest of this season, because I've never heard anything. If we never won another point, they'd clap us off at the last game of the season. That's how it is at the minute. You can't, you know, it's great for the lads to know that you can make mistakes, but they're not going to get on the backs. It's great. How much does this club mean a bit of joy at the end of the last week? Well, I mean, you saw uh, the response that, the, I mean, the fans that keep pinching themselves, I think, because they can't believe, you know, the sort of. But I don't want to sell the lads too short, if I'm honest. Yeah, they've got loads of heart and commitment and character. We've got some good players as well. You know, we've got some decent players at the club. And, uh, you know, tactically we've got to be better than opponents because we've got to be absolutely spot on. Our lads have got to know what they're doing. You know, that's why it was a disappointment to lose the goal today as, it, as we did. But, um, you know, instead of closing shop up, you know, to come back and, and get the winner, I mean, that even made it even better. I was really pleased for the chairman, Mehmet Dalman. He was there today and Ken Chu. And I looked at when we were coming up and, you know, they were quite emotional as well. It's been a hell of a... They've been super for me, dealing with everything off the field. And I just got on with dealing with what's, you know, on the field, really. How I've had four, 40 years of it, son. Not, not the last month. With what you have to deal with, though, with all the... It must be good to have that football. Uh, I mean, they're, 
you know, you, when we talk, Mum and Mrs. and me talk, you can't replicate anywhere when you retire that feeling when that final whistle goes or when the goal goes in. You just can't replicate it anywhere. So, I mean, it's been my life since I was 17 now, uh, footballing and then managing. So the, the answer is I haven't, got a, I haven't got a clue really. It's quite frightening to think of what's going to happen, you know. But I'm going to enjoy every minute while I'm here because I've never been loved as much as I am here. And it's a lovely, lovely feeling. And I feel I'm giving back what they're giving me, uh, which is, you know, a chance. That's all they want, our lot, a chance. And we've always got a chance in, in most games. Us. Outstanding, aren't he? Last three games. Man of the match for me in, in all three games. He's one of them that you don't notice, really. He's a manager's player. I give him nine out of ten most days. Um, but he'll always get a six in the papers because it's your role. Because he goes about his job without noticing him, really. Um, an unsung hero. But there's a few of them. You know. Patterson, I mean. Moaning away at everything. You know, he's the biggest moaner I've ever known. But if he ain't moaning, there's something wrong. It's, you know, he, 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 it's one of them, where do you play him? He carried us up front for, a, yeah, yeah. for three months and uh, it's only when you see somebody like Niasi play and then you see Ken come on and do what he does that you realise how, how we've kept in that hunt for safety without a striker, really. Uh, and all credit to the lads, the rest of the lads, they've, they've been amazing. Don't mention Joe Ross, what about Lee Peltier, who's another one of these unsung Yeah, I said to him on the pitch, wow, Pelts. We're in the Premier League, me and you. You know, you can't believe it, can you? And he know. I mean, you know, he, he nullified. We tried to, um, we, we set out to nullify Redmond, if I'm honest. And that was his job, Pelts. But after a half an hour, it was, it was a different game, really. We had to just let, you know, concentrate on the situation. He didn't have to really man mark him after that. He was whoever came into that, you know, into that area. Well, I think, I mean, he's, he's going to have to, first of all, try and get in the team. Because I think Bobby Reid's done well as well the last few weeks. A little bit, I thought he was a little bit um, below par today, but he still worked hard. But it gave me a chance today. I thought, why not put two big, you know, Ken on with, with Niasi till he run out of steam. And uh, that's what we did. Um, and it shows that you can play them both together um, if you have to. But... Uh, you know, it gives you an, an, another dimension, really, when you've got these options, like you say, on the bench. I've never known a bench like that. And the lads that we didn't bring on, you know, my first sub at half-time was going to be Murphy, and he never got on. So uh, it just shows you how things change in 20 minutes. What's this too psychologically now, out of relegation zone? And you just what does it do psychologically? It makes me sleep so much better in the next 10 days <laughs> than I've ever slept for a long time. That's all I can tell you. Uh, the, like I said, the pundits will still have us down, quite rightly so. But I think we've, you know, we've got a, a good group of lads that don't know when they're beaten, and it's a great quality to have at any level, even if it's the Premier League. It's, a, you know, you got if you have that quality, at uh, the Premier League level, you've got a chance. And and the fans are, you know, they're making our home games special as well. So you know, I'm looking forward now. I think we're on television, aren't we? Is it week on Friday? The Watford game, that'll be a. I bet that's a sellout. It'll be amazing, really. Okay, thank you. Thanks, thanks, thanks.